Hey guys, welcome back to another video on 10 Universe. Batman has gone through several iterations in his existence. And if you want to understand Batman, you must read the comics. They are full of weird stuff. In today's video, we take a look at some of the weirdest things you can find in Batman comics. Stay tuned. Batmites. Many people are fans of Batman. He's often debated to be the most popular superhero. A lot of fans of other characters might argue who the number one fan of that character is, but true Batman fans know that there is only one correct answer. That answer is the fifth dimensional imp who first appeared in Batmite. Batmite is a tricky character to talk about because what he actually is is complicated, like all things comics. In many stories, he could be considered just a figment of Batman's imagination, or he is truly real, who knows? Batmite is the self-proclaimed number one fan of Batman and has reality-warping powers that he often uses to make Batman's adventures more interesting. Weirdly enough, the most recent appearance of Batmite, as of writing this, was in a Scooby-Doo and Batman team-up comic. As funny as it would be for that to be the only appearance of the character in the last 10 years, I find it funnier that Batmite consistently appears in the Scooby-Doo and Batman team-up comics. Bat Milk and Cookies This one is a bit of a cheat, since it doesn't actually happen inside the comics, but I found it too funny to pass up the chance to talk about it. In 1972, the cartoon The New Scooby-Doo Mysteries premiered, with the second episode being a team-up with Batman and Robin. In the episode titled The Dynamic Scooby Affair, Batman is about to bring the gang to the Batcave but must blindfold them, so they don't know where the cave is located. During this process, Shaggy asks Batman if he can have a snack when they get to the Batcave. Batman says not to worry because he'll have bat milk and cookies for everyone. Now it's unclear whether this was a classic case of Batman putting at in front of every single noun, and sometimes verb, or if this was actual milk from bats. I think it's best we leave the answer as unknown for now. Batman trolling on internet forums Internet forums are notorious for conspiracy theories. It could be as tame as quarters are actually worth 24 cents, not 25, to aliens are in control of the processed cheese factories. Either way, it's still a conspiracy, no matter how crazy and how little evidence there is to back it up. With the comics always adapting to the modern age, they would eventually have to address the internet and its conspiracies. So Batman did just that in Batman Incorporated number six, published in 2011. In this issue, Batman is manipulating internet forums, saying that Batman is Bruce Wayne and leaving many misleading theories. One of them is that Batman is multiple people, and another one involves Batman replacing Bruce Wayne with a body double. As crazy as Bruce sounds here, he's probably incredibly smart by putting so much misinformation about himself. So if his identity was revealed, the truth would be lost amid all the fake theories and crazy conspiracies. Batman Gun Marksmanship Since 1943 or Batman, number 15 Batman has been known for not using guns in the comics. Ironically, the cover features him using a trench gun that's very clearly loaded with lethal bullets. However, I'm not going to argue with Batman, especially if he has a trench gun. Ever since that issue, he claims that guns are for the weak and cowardly. This is kind of awkward since his former partner and adopted son, Jason Todd, uses them, but I won't judge that much. After all, he apparently uses it enough to break the top 10 world list, according to The Batman, who laughs number 3. Published in 2019, Batman is one of the top 10 marksmen in the world. Bruce Wayne was the first Robin. Batman's faithful psychic is the boy wonder, Robin. Without him, Batman wouldn't be the same character we know today. Plus, the dynamic you know doesn't sound as cool. Many of you may know that the first Robin was Richard John, Dick, Grayson, and he served as Batman's partner for many years. But according to Detective Comics number 226, published in 1955, Bruce Wayne was the first Robin. In the comic, we learn about how the world's greatest detective became a detective by learning from a man named Harvey Harris. Harvey gave a young Bruce a Robin-like suit and trained him in the ways of deduction. Also, for a bonus fact, according to that issue, the name Robin K. 
came from the quote Harvey told Bruce. He said that Bruce was as brilliant as a Robin Redrest, which must be some 50s speak cause. I certainly don't understand what that means. Batman's incredible strength. Batman is one of the only superheroes not to have powers. In order to compensate, he is the second smartest man on the planet and has his body in peak physical condition. Although it seems the only way you can obtain this is through One Punch Man levels of training. Batman had a simpler solution to test his strength and conditioning, lifting up a gorilla with a bomb strapped to the animal's chest. Some may argue that this practice is inhumane and dangerous and in all honesty, it is. Detective Comics No. 337, published in 1965, features Batman having to stop a super-intelligence 700-pound gorilla from bombing part of Gotham City by lifting him up and waiting for the bomb to go off. Why, you might ask? Because they figured out the bomb wouldn't blow up if the gorilla wasn't on the ground. The Whirly Bat Vehicle Batman needs to stop crime as fast as he can and that means needing a fast vehicle to get him from one side of Gotham to the other. He could use one of his many Batmobiles, or Bat planes, or Bat helicopters, or Bat cycles, or Bat literally any vehicle. The man has them all, apparently. He has so many options to choose from that it's honestly just ridiculous with some of them. One of those ridiculous options is the Whirly Bat. The Whirly Bat first appeared in Detective Comics number 257 published in 1958. The Whirly Bat is a small one-man helicopter used for aerial surveillance and combat. These things were not that effective, though, as they were destroyed during their very first mission. Batman would later reconstruct them, but I think the fact they were destroyed on their very first use is proof enough of how inefficient they were. Well, guys, that's all we have for you in this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget to turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.